Children's Theatre Company in Minneapolis is considered the flagship theater for multi-generational works across the country. A big reason why is the theater's artistic director who's been at the helm there for 20 years. Allie's here to introduce us to him and preview the show that is running right now. Yes, and who doesn't love how the Grinch stole Christmas? Kim, I know you saw it and we're going to talk about that in a little bit, but Peter C. Brocious left the theater in the Aloha State for snow and what he calls an incredible art scene. It's his dedication to the arts for the last two decades that makes Peter C. Brocious a Minnesotan to meet. For Peter C. Brocious, theater was always a family affair. My mother was involved in the community theater, so I literally can't remember a night where we weren't like slamming some food down and rushing off to rehearsal. Some of his most fond memories as a kid are from productions. I was really lucky. I just found that being in theater was a, a joy and this kind of great family of people who are all loved working together and also as a kid when you are in theater with adults also you're treated as an equal. Initially he wanted to be a lawyer but he decided the stage was better suited for his personality. While working at a theater in Hawaii 20 years ago he got offered the job of a lifetime to come work at Children's Theater Company. I knew there was nothing like the the community of the Twin Cities you know with its commitment to education and young people and theater and museums and music I mean the cultural life here is just incredible. Under his direction CTC has created 63 new plays for the Twin Cities audiences and received a Tony Award for regional theater excellence. Brocious brought teen programming to the theater in 2001 and in 2005, the Edina resident launched preschool programming. It's so much fun. It is so joyous and also so urgent. You know, it's, you know, as Art Rolnick talks about, it's the greatest return on investment you can possibly do. You know, when you invest in that two to five year old uh, age, you're making such a difference for the rest of their life. For some of these acts, CTC is just a launching pad. Seed Folks, which was created under Peter's direction, toured in Chicago, Los Angeles, and then Cape Town, South Africa. It is such a joy to know that the work that was created here in Minnesota uh, is having a national life. Capturing Brocious's attention this Christmas season. Have you shame? That's the last can of whole patch. The return of Dr. Seuss's How the Grinch Stole Christmas. The first time the audience sees the Grinch is you just see a giant green paw come out and land on the head of our poor young Max. He says this story never gets old and for Brocious it all starts with the story behind the story. What made him write it? What, what was important to him about it at this moment? And what was radical about it? Because his use of language, it was his first villain. You know, he'd never written a villain before. And so, okay, what kind of villain is this? How close was it to his own character? So we, we start by that kind of research. And this year's performance, Peter says his team at CTC has reimagined scenes and added new technical elements. There's never been video projection in to get inside the Grinch's mind. So we're, we're getting in, he has a little sort of vision of how terrible the Who's are. And so, uh, you know, one of our great team members suggested that let's, let's put that on video. So we've done that. Get used to it. No matter the production, Peter C. Brocious says he's always reminded why he's here, the kids. We think this is the most important audience that there can possibly be because the pieces that we show to a young person can stay with them their entire life. Now, the Tony Award for Regional Theater Excellence that CTC won is pretty special. They are the only theater for young audiences to receive this award, and the Children's Theater Company was also named the best children's theater in the nation, and that is according to Time Magazine. So if you have never been there, I highly recommend it, and you can see Dr. Seuss's How the Grinch Stole Christmas. It is now playing at CTC. It's approximately one hour and 50 minutes, including a 15-minute intermission, and it's playing until January 7th. So if you have too many relatives visiting from now until Christmas, you can wait till after. And Kim, I know you went. Yes, it was my first time going to the Children's Theater Company, and I will tell you this, it might be a ch children's theater, but the production level is Broadway quality, I would say. I mean, it's phenomenal from the sets to the costume design, the music, um, and all ages, I think, would enjoy the show, too. I brought my husband on a date night. We don't have kids. <laughs> 
but you can still go as adults. The only complaint that he had, uh, no beer served during intermission. <laughs> yeah, it'd be super weird yeah. if they were serving beer at a children's theater. Yeah, they do have really good cookies, though, so more, makes up for it. More appropriate, yeah. I think, for the venue. <laughs> I think a lot of people expect, Strange though, that children's theater, that it would be that it's all local kids in the cast, mm -hmm. and in fact, right. that's not always the case. Mm -hmm. Actors will come in from New York yes. and California to be cast in shows here at the Children's Theater. And you see that with the Guthrie as well, and I think that's why people speak so highly of the Twin Cities theater scene mm -hmm. is because of theaters like the Children's And theater. even the audience, too. You will have people flying in just yeah. to go to the shows. We are lucky to have it right here in our backyard. Yes.